three, two, one. Hello. Hi, hello. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. This is Through the Six Podcast. Through the Six Podcast. If you're a returning listener, viewer, welcome back. And if you're new, I'm your lovely host, Jacob. Jacob and Brielle. Brielle. Weston. We're back. Hi. We had to take a quick little week off. Okay? We did. It was just... It was just the vibe. So last week the there was vibe. no new episode. And I gotta say it felt really weird. It felt really weird, but I hope that it gave you all a chance to catch up on old Audible episodes and old um, YouTube episodes. Yes, for sure. Or even just a chance to let all of our readings and stuff like sink in. Resonate. Process and like live it out. Exactly. I had a, a really good feeling that that's exactly what was happening though. That it was just like a... Yeah, like it was just like a little time that everybody needed to like process shit. Process shit. Yeah, process shit. Sure. Discover us, maybe. Yeah. Or so, even just scroll through our fucking Instagram and really get to know us. Yeah, so we're back. We are back. Hair is wet. Not ready, but we're ready. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was excited for today. I was excited. I was You're like, I was. I was. I was excited for today. I was. It's just like the vibe for today, even though we're now in Gemini season, it's like a really sleepy vibe. Oh, yeah. It's I like sleepy. Today. It's not like a high energy vibe today. Mm-mm. Is the moon in Libra or Scorpio? It's in Libra. Okay. Yeah. And also the weather right now, it's like a it's, gloomy day. It's just giving like stay in, cuddle, movie. Yeah, for sure. But I feel like I've been doing that a lot lately, I know. so it's like pissing me off because I'm like, can I get out? Like, but what can we I get just out? figured out was the whole Mercury retrograde uh, right. shadow period barely shadow motherfucking period. ended today, you guys. Mm-hmm. Today, what the fuck? And even though, so even though we didn't have an episode last week, I feel like we haven't really been able to talk about just exactly what we've been going through during shadow period because it's been hitting us way harder. It's a lot. Way harder I than cut the my actual hair. retrograde. <laughs> You can't tell. You can't but tell. She thinks, to her, she's bald right now. To, so to just imagine me, a bald Brielle. To me, I like this is so much. Like I. No, you. I mean, I know you well, and that, that your hair lot. is like there's way less. There, she had a lot of hair. Yeah, I thinned the motherfucker. First out. of all, I don't even know how your head even balances that much hair. Like it feels a lot better now. I'm sure. Can like you it like, does. Keep yeah, your less like neck pain. You're free. Like, I'm free. Right. <laughs> Look at my body. Oh my gosh. And the Trim Christmas. spa. Trim spa, baby. Um, did you watch the documentary? I did. You need to. It's I so know. good. I watched it. I've always loved. We're there's, like going to get into this real quick. I know there's so many documentaries that I do want to watch. And yeah. that was actually one of them. I was interested in watching hers and Pamela's. Yeah, I just came across Pamela's earlier and I was going to watch it because it was kind of giving me... Anna and Nicole Smith vibe. Marilyn, Anna, and Pam, Pamela, they all yeah. give me the same energy. All the same like, energy. Like, they all have, like, that pink aura. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, pink and maybe sometimes, like, little hints of, like, gold. Right. Like, rose gold. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, know what I mean? Except they've been through, like, the worst of the worst. Yeah. Which is, like, But they've been able the to transmute it. Right, which is just, like, I feel like that's why I just love them so much. Because they're able to, like... They're very light, even yeah. though... They had a lot of darkness Dark, heavy in their shit. Life. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, I always loved Anna Nicole Smith. I remember when she was alive, I loved her so much. Mm-hmm. And I remember, I never, I'll never forget, I literally, I don't know if I was either sick from, I I think I faked being sick. I played possum, and I stayed home from school one day. <laughs> Not possum. Not possum. Show me I, I possum. know. <laughs> I can't go out. I'm <laughs> sick. I'm sick. <laughs> I can't go to school. Um, and I went on TV and literally it was like breaking news, Anna Nicole Smith dead, like at yeah. like however old she was. And I remember being like, no, not Anna Nicole, like I loved her. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I'll never forget that. It was like my Thunderbolt memory, is what it's called, I believe. Yeah, it's like a like, core memory. like Yeah, sh- core memory for sure. Yeah, like a you know, like, like Michael Jackson, like, like nobody forgets where they were when Michael Jackson died yeah. or whatever. Like, yeah. No one forgets that. I, kn- I think we talked about that too. We did. Yeah, we did. We did. What we were doing. And Nicole Smith is one of them. Mm-hmm. Loved it. But it was a really good documentary and it showed just who she was in a good way, I feel. And, you know, fame, once again, really can do 
numbers on a person. It's insane. And... I just feel like there's, like, I still going into the whole conspiracy theory. There's just people backed. It's not just... Yes, it is, like, the fame, but I, there is a it's special who, group of people who runs that, the that pushes that yeah. um, whole agenda on, you know, authentic souls that become it's all the old famous. Like, old rich white men. They're fucking weird. Speaking of, mm -hmm. they're fucking weird. It goes into that. I was deep, deep scrolling on the deep web on TikTok, and there was a TikTok about, like, all these girls, like, do you notice how all these influencers and models go to Dubai, and this guy's, like, warning people, he's like, I know Dubai is, like, the influencer, like, the cool fucking place to go, but, like, you guys need to know and be aware that the girls that are getting booked for these are flights pimping themselves out. are pimping themselves out, but like in the worst of ways, because even they are unaware of what is going to happen to them once they get there in a whole new country. Right. They get shit on. Um, they get like, they get put in fucking cages. They basically get sex trafficked against their will. Right. Like, even though they know they're going on like a sex work type of job, they don't know what's in store for them when they get there. Like, they're mm -hmm. fucking, um like probed against their will like yeah they're ripped they're yeah torn. definitely and i'm like oh my god and he mm. said that shit goes on so much and he's like and if you notice not all but some girls will come back and like they're forever changed but they don't speak about what happens over there right because they're so fucking traumatized yeah and i'm like you know what there might be some validity to that or there definitely is because I do notice, like, a lot of fucking influencers going there. Mm -hmm. And it is a lot of, like, the ones that I know that are low-key sex workers. They're not right. out with it. Um, uh -huh. But I remember last summer, there was a weird fucking DM I got. Um, some girl was inviting me to go to Dubai, but the whole thing was just really weird. And she's like, I have this client, and he likes this and this and this. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. mm, this sounds, like, really sex trafficky. Yeah. No, is. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I've heard about that before, especially. And it in is, Dubai. and they said that it's not like how you said, like the old white rich men. Yeah. It is them. It's like mm. people that it's not even the like locals of Dubai. Like I'm sure there are some bad ones, but there it is. is the fucking old white rich men and mm. like old other nationalities fly into Dubai to do this sick shit. Right. And they think that they can do whatever they want because they're like, oh well, we already paid you X amount. Exactly. Like you're gonna take it. Yeah, I have heard the same thing. You've heard the same thing. I have. About yeah, I'm not about. I haven't same heard it. Same thing happens with men. I haven't too, heard it to that extremity, like to where it's like they're like. I have heard it's pretty bad though. Yeah. I've heard it, it's actually from a particular. And it's not just women, you guys. It's like it's men. It's yeah. young men and women models, like OnlyFans yeah, it's creators, for everybody. models that go over <laughs> there and fuck get fucking. People who have money don't give a fuck yeah. what gender you are. No, they don't. Um. Yeah, it's a, a, part a particular celebrity who is like producer of a show that's very popular right uh -huh. now she um takes girls over there to dubai and pimps them out and stuff and yeah they've heard, I've heard a lot of stories like, about literally, it they're, okay so i feel and like they don't know like, the girls who are going think they're going with this girl and they're just yeah. You know, gonna have fun, but now they're getting pimped out by it, like. And people. that's the thing about all this shit. Like, I feel like people who don't know social media, like, know the dark side of it. They see this stuff. They're like, "Oh my god, this shit looks so cool!" Like, mm -hmm. I want to be like so and so. Well, I want to take get traffic. Yeah, I want to take photos with tigers. I want to do all that cool shit. And it's like you don't know most. I even hate saying this most, but a lot of the bigger accounts of IG models you see. Some of those girls are like the top pimps, the madams, mm -hmm. the ones who fucking pimp out like these young girls. And people wouldn't know that. People are like, they just see their like lifestyle, like, oh, I want to be rich and famous like that, but you mm. don't know what they've done to get there. Right. And most of it trickles back to sex trafficking. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a really fucked up world we live in. No, it really is. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, and these people are being put right in front of our faces and we don't even know. Like, And I do know who some of them are, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so crazy, because just a couple of years ago, I was like, man, what did she do to, like, climb that ladder of success? Like, I would like to be in her position one day. And then when I found out how she actually did it, I'm like, oh, I am so cool off that. Mm -hmm. I'm so cool off that. 
Yeah, it's just like, well, you know, social media is just a lot of the time fake. Like, it's we just It's fake don't. as fuck, you guys. <laughs> like, it's fake as fuck. It is. I was talking to my friend who just did um, the Karma music video for Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. And he was just talking about how most of the people in Los Angeles, like, they are still in that whole fake it to make it thing. That most of the girls that you see, like we say, like, they're fucking posting in these new cars and these new houses. It None of that is theirs. Mm-hmm. They've had to fuck somebody to, like, get themselves in that position, and it's not long-lasting. A yeah. lot of it is just so fucking fake. Right, and then how does it's like and how do you really feel about so yourself? These people are so out of, of touch of with reality. Like they're yeah. so materialistic to the point where it's like they wake up one day and they've lost themselves completely. You think they ever? I mean, I hope they would realize one day that they've lost themselves, but maybe they wouldn't ever. I don't know because sometimes I feel like you get to a point where you can literally lose your soul. Not in a sense like I sold my soul, but you just are soulless. You've just become such an empty shell of who you are or who you think you are and it's like you just don't even know if you have a purpose anymore. Isn't that insane? Like I could not imagine I couldn't being imagine like, being like, like that. that and that's kind of how I felt like in the whole strip club industry. Like I would talk to so many girls and a lot of them were really fucking nice but there was a select few where I'd find myself talking to them and I'm like we live in two different worlds. Mm-hmm. Not in like I'm better than you but it's like oh my god there's so much more to life than that. Right. There's so much more to life. There's so much more substance than that. Mm-hmm. <coughs> it's crazy. Yeah, and it's just in different parts, different types of jobs. It's everywhere. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's everywhere. It's not just there. It's like the same thing in an office job. I would yeah. talk to somebody when I worked in the dental field, and I'd be like, we would be talking, what are you going to do this weekend? And they're like, I'll probably go out, like, get fucked up, and then be back here on Monday. Like, right. Fuck, like, so that, that's just, life. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah. what? Like, that's life. Mm-hmm. No, that's your life. Why are no, you choosing? Girl. Why are you choosing that? What are we doing around here? Why are you choosing? I don't know. It's just some people get so caught up and stuck in a system that they can, mm-hmm. like, so get out of that they just open up and expand their right. mind. Society just not even like really in a woke puts, like, way. A, like doesn't just, remember on them that they're just like. I just don't. I feel like these people lose touch with like their hobbies and the shit that they enjoy. Yeah, because we live in such a money ruled world. Driven, like, society. Yeah, and it's just like all they care about is like the money that they're gonna make, how they're gonna survive. But it's just like, especially nowadays with everything being so expensive, I feel like it's only gonna make people feel even more like. Oh, well, it's just, like, the whole, like, split, like, either, like, you're gonna be, like, you're gonna be awake, and you're gonna know the real, how, what's real, it what really it really is. is, and then you, or you're gonna be left, and you're just gonna be stuck in the cycles of, Like, the 3D, you know? the 4D, the 5D yeah, yeah, yeah. dimension. Yeah. I think it just goes along with that, you know? It does. It does go along with that. And it's, like, and then... It's like when you do try to talk to people that are still stuck in these cycles, it's like they'll be like, well, you're not taking things seriously or how am I supposed to pay this and this and this? And it's like right. at a certain point, it's like I can't explain how this shit works to you anymore. Yeah. Like I just, I'll, I'll talk myself blue in the face because you're not willing to like see that none of that stuff is really real. real. Mm-hmm. It doesn't exist. And it, you don't need to allow it to stress you. That's, but they can't, I uh, don't think they just they'll can't uh, grasp, they just their, can't grasp, grasp their mind because they're so stuck in that limited, like, er, there's bills to pay, what do you mean? Or there's yeah, like, things to do. and Yeah. It's like, honestly, no. <laughs> there's not. There's really not. Yeah. There's not. <clears throat> you just have to, like. But you can't, you can't keep know. explaining. You just can't. You, you really just can't. can't. And it's not even in that it's whole. It's like talking to a fucking wall. It's not even the whole, like, egoic, like, woke way. It's just, like, there's just, I don't know. It's, like, there's just more to life than that. Right. There's <laughs> right. Just, just, yeah. There just is. And I feel like that's, like, a really, I feel like when I started my spiritual awakening, which I started in, I would say, around 2020, 2019, 2020, um, definitely during the pandemic, for sure, um, you have these conversations with people, even people that you've have been in your life, and like you realize that you guys really are just like, and that, that we are truly, truly different, different, truly 
living in and it's different like timelines. It's so crazy to like realize that. Yeah. Yeah, like how they say, like it truly is your own world. Mm-hmm. We are the main character in our own program <laughs> software world. Mm-hmm. And it's so weird. It's so it weird is. to live different, in different realities because it's like you'll you'll like hang out with these people, you'll see them, and then you'll go your separate ways, and it's like whoa, like, people are still thinking like that, they're still Mm -hmm. living like that. Yeah, and I feel like that, it kind of sucks because it makes it harder for me to, like, want to be social with anybody because I just feel like people are just going to let me down. (laughs) They're just going to be let down. (laughs) And, like, not everybody's going to be like me. But I feel like that is true. Like, you vibrate at, like, a higher rate than someone else, and then it's like you vibrate right out of their reality. And yeah. then you go and you match up with someone else on that same frequency. Yeah. And then if you guys aren't a match, a vibrational match, then you vibrate out of that. And it's like, then you just continuously find like-minded souls. Because the same could be said when you spiral downwards. And like we all say, like, just because we don't have lack mindset doesn't mean that Jacob and I don't struggle with still having lack and poverty mindset. And still kind of going back to old conditionings. Like, it's always like an everyday battle oh, that you absolutely. have to work yourself out of. So mm-hmm. when we are in these mindsets, we will attract people that are vibrating lower. Right. And then we vibrate higher, and then bloop, the lessons are gone. Right. They're gone. They're gone. And then these certain people come back, and you're like, why are these people coming back? Is my energy a vibrational match to theirs? Yes. And if their life is not where you're wanting to go, you got to ask yourself, okay, I need to get myself out of this, and mm-hmm. why, why am I attracting this energy back into my life? Absolutely. So it's like, it's like an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing, but to know it and to be aware of it makes life so much easier. So that way you can talk yourself out of it. Like, why am I stressing this bill? Why am I stressing out about tomorrow? Tomorrow doesn't exist. Only now exists. Literally. Yeah. Because you do not But it's an everyday fight. It's like an everyday thing. It's like fucking Christianity or whatever, being a good Christian. Like, we're all sin. We all make mistakes. So it's Mm -hmm. like, we're not all woke, spiritual, perfect, 24-7, 365. We go back to those basic human instincts, Mm -hmm. which are survival and primal. Definitely. Struggle, for sure. (laughs) But you just gotta... It isn't... But that's why it's so essential to become hyper self-aware and conscious of your subconscious and everything, like, psychology-based, because then you can be your own therapist and talk yourself out of a lot of the shit. Yeah. And snap yourself out of it. Mm-hmm. It's easier said than done. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it is. Or also, like, get in touch with your spirit guides. and That that's, too. Like, that's always something that really helps me. Yeah. Knowing that, like, your ancestors are writing for you. Mm-hmm. Knowing that you are here and you serve a bigger purpose. And you're here to bless the bloodline and heal all the stuff that doesn't make sense to you in your life and all the toxic patterns that you can't that came before you mm-hmm. or that are in your family dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big mission. I know, like learning to <laughs> trust your spirit guides and to trust your intuition is hard too. Oh yeah. It is. Because, like, we always know, like, what is good for us, but it's like we always want to do that human thing that's like, no, I'm going to still go this way and right. see how it works out. <sighs> Story of my life. I'm like, no, I'm going to go over here. No, I'm going to do this and, and just, the lava. just see if it's <laughs> just, you know. Let's see if it's hot over here. I'm going to see if it's going to work. And yeah. it doesn't. <laughs> well, oh my goodness. Life is a highway. And I'm I want to ride, ride it. it. All oh night long, God. and all I could think about was macaroni and cheese <laughs> snacks from Radiator Springs right now. Oh my God, uh, you and those mac and cheese. Bro, they were so, the little bread around it. Mm, the bread is like the, the, the like, the icing on the cake it is. there. Last time I went there, I didn't have the hot Cheeto one, but uh, have you ever had hot Cheeto mac and cheese? Like, what's like a like, hot Cheeto dust? No, because oh remember so you- my stomach was already hurting, and you're like, um, you should probably get the other one. <laughs> so I think I just got the... Like, you getting the mac and cheese was already risky, as <laughs> it, it was. It was risky okay, as fuck. I don't even do that. But it's good. It's good. <sighs> I miss Disneyland. We gotta go, you guys. I'm all looking at Let's you guys. Let's go to Disneyland, you guys. Come to Disneyland with us. Buy our tickets for us. Buy our tickets. <laughs> Abundance mindset. <laughs> Buy our tickets and you'll be blessed at tenfold. <laughs> <laughs> and 
pretty much your the wildest, floodgates of your prosperity dreams will, come true. <laughs> we'll make a special TikTok for you. We will. We'll vlog. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we will. We'll vlog the fuck Honestly, out of it. Honestly, what I really want to do is go to Disneyland and vlog it. Like, we're going to do it. Because we're in the 212. You know what's up. or don't you? Yeah. Maybe not. I take it back. <laughs> I hate you. I just had flashbacks of real vlogging at Disneyland. We we she have, was just all making it seem like we were from different countries We could have fucking vlogged that me. fucking couple. I'll never oh forget God. that. I'll never forget that couple. I'll never I hope they, that. I hope they are not together. I hope they split the fuck up, up for both hope. of their sakes. <laughs> I hope that man is For my well. sake, I hope they split up. For my own sake, please. <laughs> For my own mental peace of mind. Uh, it's like, oh my god. Yeah, it's either you're gonna be at, a, at, a, at an amusement park and a couple's gonna be fighting, or there's gonna be a weird couple that's all over each other making out and making I everybody the, uncomfortable. I think I prefer the weird couple making out. I think I would too. So after it's that, like, it's like energy. It's like sexual energy and love. Yeah. Like they're just sharing like their good vibrations, but the fucking arguing. Arguing and over hearing, nothing and everything like and hearing I, just pure toxicity. Like girl, this yeah. is the happiest place on earth, bitch, baby girl. Like, what is he doing? What is he doing? Go to Eagle Rock. Go argue there. Go to fucking An- <laughs> Go out these gates and go to Anaheim. Go to Santa. Yeah. Like, Take it to the streets, bitch. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fuck, bitch. Oh argue my somewhere goodness. else. Not my happy fucking ha- the happiest place on earth. Yeah, you assholes. This is the one place I could be. Miserable bitch. (laughs) (laughs) As you can tell, we have like PTSD trauma from that couple. Oh my god. They're fucking, I'm sorry, they're fucking up my store in over California. They were. I was already stressed out. I was already stressing a bitch, and this bitch was stressing out. You hated it. Didn't you hate that ride? I did. You didn't like it. You were like, oh, thank god it's over. I felt like a cat being put into water. I don't know because, okay, for me. (laughs) I can't do the, the, the fake rides with the screens. They just fuck up my um, and also it's, yeah my middle ear, my vertigo. I don't do well with like motion stuff like that unless I'm in control. And I was on the very end. And that's what I, was I felt like I was gonna fall into that fucking ocean with the whale. I let the whale <laughs> jump me out. <laughs> You thought Shamu was going to catch you in its mouth. I know. Fuck. She thought she was going to fall on top of the Eiffel Tower. It was soaring over the California, though. It was soaring over the fucking world. And you had never seen and that And it kept world. going and going. I'm like, you said, I'm going to see the world. I'm not going to that sea world. I need to go. You're at the Great Wall of China. I need to go. Don't play. <sighs> You're at the Taj Mahal. It was really high up. <laughs> I'm all thinking about it. I don't I'd like, rather be on a real ass fucking high rise than like a fake one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Have you ever been on top of the stratosphere in Vegas? No, but I've been in the Seattle Space Needle in Seattle. Is it outside? Is it outside? Like outdoors? No, it's indoors, isn't it? I th- yeah, it's indoors. Oh my god. But it's taller than the stratosphere, I believe, oh because it's, the stratosphere is like modeled after the space needle. Ugh, I'm no. pretty sure. One time I snuck up to the top of the stratosphere and... Why do you sneak up? Because you, you, <laughs> you, you can't go up there unless you're going to ride. What are you doing? Unless you're what are you doing up there? <laughs> yes, it's King Kong. <laughs> Which is King Kong. Kong. Yeah. Charlie, is you that you? With my you were looking for that guy that you sent me a TikTok of. Huh? I was, he was up there. I was looking for him. And he was up Over there. Over yonder. <laughs> down at Omega. <laughs> <laughs> On top of the yeah, stress. It was King Kong. Here. No, why do you sneak up it? Let's see. Because hear. you can only go up there either if you're going to ride were the you ride. Were by yourself? No. Okay. Because I'm going to make sure that my girl is sneaking up no, with, with a crew. Uh, yeah, I was. Either you go up there and you're going to ride the ride, or you're going to eat at the restaurant, I think. Okay. So we just, like, went up there and just, like, snuck on by everybody, and um, we went outside, and everybody was just enjoying the view, you know. What we were just thinking about is making, <laughs> making me feel some type of way. <laughs> no thinking about it. I literally walked up to the edge to, like, you know, hold the rail and look down, and yeah. I seen a fucking helicopter below us, like flying below us, yeah. and it freaked me out. And I was like, I'm did, your, too... did your knees get weak? I, yes, I was like, I gotta go. And I like you, stepped away. You, you, and you like, dropped to the floor and you crawled. I wanted you to. Crawled. I literally wanted to. Why is that our instinct? 
Why is that a like a basic uh, human instinct when just, there's heights involved to like get down on all fours and crawl? Because Do you feel like you have more, more of a grip on life? Yeah. Because if you're standing, you could fall over. Um, and if I'm on my all fours, I'd be like, okay. Yeah. Let me just crawl to the door. Not like, everybody enjoying their food. Like you're having Everybody was enjoying their view. <laughs> They're all, there's a couple over here enjoying it. They're all, and I'm like, nope. So go. would you let? Would you hang off of it? Fuck no. For one, hang off of it. <laughs> for for five hundred million. My hands are sweating for thinking about million. that. Five hundred million. No, fuck no. <laughs> you wouldn't hang off of it. I wouldn't even get on that fucking ride. The ride that's on it. <laughs> Have you seen the ride? Yes. No. Oh god no. <laughs> You're all. <laughs> You need to breathe. I do. Like, it's like have you guys ever been on, like, on Facebook or on TikTok or Instagram, whatever, whatever you prefer to use, and there's those videos of the people, and they're walking on the edges of oh, buildings and hopping over. Oh, I've seen one of, like, Buddha's over. hand, or, like, they're oh, on... Oh, I've seen that one, Yeah. Too. But the people that walk on the edge of buildings and jump, have you seen those? Parkour? Basically. <laughs> That shit's insane. No, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen that one. Oh my god, I get such bad anxiety watching those, but I'll just keep watching. Really? I wa- I've been watching the ones where um, people go on the like the high dive, and mm. they like take their friends up to like the 18 meter, 20 meter, like high, you know, the Olympic like diving boards. Uh-huh. Oh, they're super fucking high. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they go up there and their friends who aren't fucking divers are like, uh-uh. And they're fucking like crawling and they can't yeah, even like, they're like sweating. I would be so terrified. You know, heights, honestly, okay, heights don't fuck me up unless I know that there might be a chance that I might fall over. And what I mean by this is like, okay, so when I went to that So Chris photo shoot, mm-hmm. he had me sit on a broken tree mm-hmm. and it was hanging off this cliff thing. <laughs> and. I, when I got on that thing, I like I could not look back. I was like, because I'm like, bro, if this thing snaps, like I'm done. You're done. I'm done. And he's All like, right, he's like, Braille Delulu. He's like, I'll die. I'll he's Delulu too, because he's like, I'll dive with you. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to get blamed for murder, but um, I think that's why he said he would dive over as well. But yeah, so that's what freaks me out. But if I know that I'm not gonna fall, mm-hmm. and I'm secure, then I'm good. Yeah. No. I'm up high, I'm freaking out. And then I used, I used to be freaked out by, like, heights while driving, mm-hmm. but not anymore. Like, the drive to Tahoe, how it's, like, you could see and there's just, like, fucking cliff, basically. Right. Mm, that I'm okay with. That used to freak me out, but now I'm like, eh, better. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fine. When I'm driving, it's just if I'm out in the open being vulnerable. <laughs> no. No heights. Definitely not. No heights for me. Wait, like, so no skydiving? Fuck no. I would never jump out of a fucking plane. That's the most insane shit ever. <laughs> no skydiving for you. No though. skydiving. I would skydive. Mm. I'd parasail. I would parasail. I would do assisted rock climbing. I wouldn't fucking free rock climb because that's I fucking do that. crazy. I would go parasailing. I think. Ooh, extreme sports with Brandon <laughs> Jacob. Extreme. Could you imagine that being like a thing? They should make a show up and have us do sports. Like, like extreme that. sports? Yeah. Like skydiving? No. Not that then. <laughs> Not that then. You have to have our own limits. That is the only one. Like, they teach us how to be like one episode, like WWE wrestlers. Or <laughs> that something. would be fun. <laughs> that shit would be fun. That would be fucking fun. Yeah. Or like one, yeah, WWE, MMA. And then, like, lacrosse. Like, swimming. We can do swimming. Football. Uh, tackle football. <laughs> Ru- rugby. <laughs> yeah. It can be all over. Men. <laughs> Karate. <laughs> Karate. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. 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 We should do that. Somebody sponsor us and let's do that. <laughs> I know. I feel like my dress keeps riding up and up and up. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. What? I'm being a war right now. <sighs> Got me a little Lana outfit on. I must say. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh my god, so tell me why. Halloween came early. Who am I? (laughs) Tell me why the other night, right? The other morning, actually. I had a dream that I was on stage with Lana Del Rey. Oh my god. And I was performing with her. Literally performing with her. And then... We finished the song, and she looked at me, and she was like, oh, after the show, do you want to hang out? Like, 
me and Jack Antonoff, who's her producer, yeah. um, we're gonna like play some. Like, Not you know gonna, her whole team. We're gonna have a session like yeah. after. Do you want to come? And I was like, fuck yes, I want to go. And then right when I said that, fucking Daniel woke me up out of my dream. Fucking Aquarius. I was like. I literally told them, babe, you literally just woke me up. I was on stage singing on the delay. <laughs> and he was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Little delay. That happened me another time too. One time when I was like 16, I was I had a dream that I was about to do cocaine with Lindsay Lohan. Oh my god. And my mom, my mom fucking woke me up. Like a good mom, she's like, like uh-uh, you're not gonna do astral coca. my watch. No astral coca for not you. Not on my watch. Yeah. I was like, damn it. No coca. It was back when Lindsay, it was back when Lindsay was like crazy, you know? Did you say she's pregnant? Yeah. Yeah, it's Congratulations so Congratulations to Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. Love you for life. Can't wait for Freaky, Freaky Friday too. They're gonna do Freaky Friday too. Are they really? Yes. I'm oh so my God. excited. And, you know, it's hard because sequels, you know, they usually don't ever, like... They don't they really go up. They can't hold up to, like, the first ones ever, obviously. I don't think Hocus Pocus held up. It didn't. Because here's how I know it didn't. I could barely focus on it. Like, I watched it and I was like, this is just not... I was able to watch it. I it's liked just it. Not, it wasn't iconic. No, it wasn't. It's kind of like if they did a second Beetlejuice, it's like... Mm, well, they're going not... to. Are they really? You haven't heard? No. There was already pictures of um, Winona Ryder. I swear God, do not know this. What, with Winona Ryder, she's already, she has her um, hair and everything, her... Um, what the fuck? What's her name? What's her character's name? Uh, Lydia. Lydia. Her Lydia hair. What? Mm-hmm. I have to show you after that. this. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope it lives up <laughs> to... So we got a Freaky Friday Beetle 2, a Beetlejuice 2... Supposedly, another Princess Diaries is supposed to come. And allegedly, a reboot on the original Exorcist. Okay, but here's my beef with everything. <laughs> nothing is original anymore. No, nothing. What's up with that? Did everybody run out of ideas for movies? Because everything's a remake nowadays. I feel like we just need more and better and creative Hollywood writers. I guess, yeah. They need I it. feel like people just don't want to write anymore. You know, and I you know what, like... it could be the war on the attention span mm -hmm. in this society's day with like social media and everything so fast, fast, fast that it, just things get regurgitated, regurgitated. Because if you think about like whole social media, like the trends and shit like that, mm -hmm. everybody's posts are like just a repeat or like a fad. It's kind yeah. of like the other thing. So maybe that's a theme. I think that's why I really like A24 Productions because... I feel like their movies are always, like, really original and, like, something I've never seen before. That's crazy that you say that because I had a close friend that fucking loved A24. Mm -hmm. And they were, like, or they still are, ride or die A24 I films. So, like, A24. once, they're, like, once I know that a film is produced by A24, they're, I'm like, in. I'm in, I don't give a fuck That's what it's about, who the cast is, like, no, I'm literally. fucking watching it. They have and I was, like, are you, great movies. are you serious? And it's, like, no, dude, like, I'm so dead ass. Yeah. The, the first movie I ever watched by them was The Bling Ring, the one I've been telling you to watch, and it's by A24. Oh my god. It's one of the first movies that they came okay, out well, with. Okay, well, A24, I need to hit you up. I know, I want to be in an A24 film. I want to be in a movie so bad. Well, let's should do it. I just take acting classes? You should just, honestly... <laughs> just show up? I don't feel like you need acting classes. I feel like you just go to um, LA and casting calls. Mm -hmm. Audition. Am I going to be one of those girls? No, you're not. Okay. Because you're not leaving your life behind in Bakersfield. You're not going with I'm one just, little suitcase. Yeah. You have a home to come back to, girl. I'm just skipping real quick for the day and coming around back. You have stability here. <clears throat> no, it's called commuting. I guess so. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we could just commute. Mm-hmm. Well, you heard it here first, guys. We're coming so to I guess I'm gonna be a silver writing screen near you. A new Hollywood writer, producer, and director, actor. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what kind of role I'd want to play first. Um, I don't know. I'd want to just be like. I think I want to play. I want to be like, the antagonist. Like. For sure. At least like once. a Reagan role or a Pearl role or would love to or play some sort of role. like role that like Joaquin Phoenix or Christian Bale takes on. Like a really 
um, challenging, psychologically fucked up role. That's, I feel like that's what I would want to do. Like a psychological thriller, something that mm-hmm. would be really, really dark. Right, something that's gonna for sure fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, girl! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! And there's something that I can transmute all this crap into, into that role. Like the uh, Peter mm-hmm. Evans. Like the roles, Love him. Like the roles that he will no longer take on anymore. Oh, right, because it's done like a number on him. Mm-hmm. See, everybody, like everybody, like everybody just needs another. like a couple of those roles and... <laughs> and that's it. And that's it. And that's called shadow work. <laughs> right. No, Honestly. really. I never thought about it that way. Being in those roles could be like really good shadow It work. could be really good, but then you go too far off into and the deep yeah. and it's very bad because people don't know this and people love Jack Nicholson, but... It was like his shadow consumed him or what? The Shining, I think it was maybe even before that role, but after that role... I don't know if you guys know this, but he got off on, like, a, a, don't know if it was for sure, like, um, no, it was. It was a fucking, um, a criminal case. Mm, right, right, right. I did read about that. Yeah, and I, was it murder? I want to say it was. I want to say it was a murder I case. I think it was. And I, in The Shining, his role, it wasn't far off from who he actually was. I'm not to say that he is that, but once somebody does something like that, that beast always resides within them. So I want to say, like, sometimes those roles and shit can really fuck up your mind. I've actually never finished watching The Shining, but I've watched it. I've watched it it twice. It's really good. I started getting to the part after he started acting crazy and, like, you know, he was all unhinged and shit. But I want to play a role like that. (laughs) After I said that, I want to play a role like that. I feel like I have been unhinged, not to that degree, not to murder people, but I have been very unhinged. I want to be an unhinged in my, character. In my younger life where he's like, um, what does he say? It's like the famous fucking iconic, iconic quote from that movie. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And like at the end of the movie, you think he's writing some crazy novel and it's literally just the same sentence over and over and over and over again and you're like, oh my Spoiler god, alert. this motherfucker is fucking crazy. Like, what the? F- he's fucking lost He was it. doing all that just to read the same sentence yeah, over and over? Yeah, because he had gone fucking cuckoo. Crazy. Crazy fucking bonkers. And didn't he do another movie? Wait, who was in that movie? Who's the main person in The Shining? The Shining him. Who? What's his name? All oh, working with Jack. Is it? If it was if he was saying all work and no play makes Jack a doll. But boy. what actor is it? Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, right? Yeah. He's in another movie too, isn't he? That's where he plays like a crazy person, like one flew over the cuckoo's, cuckoo's nest. nest. Isn't that him too? I think it is. I think it is. So you see, that's probably why like he played a lot of characters that were just He's like crazy. Just fucking crazy. Oh, he also played the Joker. Right. I feel like anybody who plays a Joker, like. It's like a curse. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Because Jared Leto, he's not... He kind of went crazy after, too, huh? I feel like he kind of went off the deep end. Yeah, and I don't know. There's just something about his aura and his energy that I just don't like. It unsettling is unsettling. Effect. Yeah. I liked his Joker. Yeah. I know a lot of people didn't. I, 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 I liked Jared I liked Leto's. his Joker, too. That Joker could get it. Walking Phoenix is a good Joker. I haven't know. watched the Walking Phoenix. Josh either. fucking calls me Walking Phoenix Joker because of my laugh when I start going all crazy and laughing. But it's just because I like to annoy Josh when I fucking laugh. Yeah. I cause laughing, like if you force yourself to laugh, that is like a healing exercise. It is. It, like- it, it clears out and unblocks your throat chakra. And like laughter, like it truly is contagious because I'm sure then you'll, it releases serotonin you'll in you too. fucking trick yourself into thinking like something's funny, and then also you'll laugh at the fact that you're laughing for no reason, mm-hmm. which will make you laugh even more. Because even though Josh gets so fucking annoyed, and that my friends is being a little one on one. Because even when I'm laughing, Josh will start fucking laughing like he doesn't want to laugh, but he'll laugh. You just have a contagious laugh. What can you say? I have a the cross between Joaquin Phoenix Joker laugh and Ursula's laugh. I want to watch the new Little Mermaid. I know. <laughs> I know we do. I've been bringing it up like every day. I'm supposed to go watch it Thursday actually. Oh, that'll be fun. Mm-hmm. I'll see you there. Catch you at an A. I'll, let you I'll know. see you there. <laughs>
I'll See you later, girlie. Popcorn. We should go. I know. I'm dead ass. You know what would be even better? Yeah. Oh, I know. Like we go and see it at the movie theater in Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland. Yeah, there's like a little theater in Disneyland. Are they playing the Little Mermaid there? Oh my god, it's Disneyland. Wait, like in the actual... Are you talking about in California Adventures or like where? No, in Disneyland. In Disneyland there's a theater. I'm pretty sure. Or was that a dream? I thought it was or a California Adventures. Or is it in Adventures. California Either way, you know that fucking the Little Mermaid... I didn't know if it was a real theater though. I thought it was just for looks. But maybe I'm you're right. Like, I think I'm like, now I'm like, once you get your phone and just type in real quick... Because now I gotta know, was, was a bitch dreaming? I'm gonna look up California. If it is, it's was California. Was a bitch Avengers. upset one day that I didn't go to the theater at Disneyland and there was none there? Yeah. Am I crazy? Are we crazy? Let's find out if we're crazy or not. Um. Hmm. No. There's not? There is. It's the oh. Hyperion Theater. Okay. But so they just is. play. They just play what? Oh, it has not opened since the pandemic. What oh, was what once home fuck? to Frozen when I'll feature a star spangled performance depicting the beginnings of Steve Rogers and his journey to becoming Captain America. So they only play one thing. Okay. There. Not an actor. So it's theater. like the one like it's similar to that theater like in Tomorrowland where like they used to play the Michael Jackson thing and then it was the honey I shrunk the audience. That type of theater? Okay, I've heard about that, but I never like never experienced it. Dude, it was cool. No. It was pretty fucking cool, and it was. It's that. It's right next to Space Mountain, old right? Old school, yeah. Yeah. So I did. I didn't see the Michael Jackson tribute one, um, but I did do, which I think was older, maybe more. Michael current? Jackson tribute at Disneyland. Or was it a tribute, or was it just like some sort of spacey movie? I don't know. Um, but it I did have do with Michael Jackson. Yeah. I did the Honey, I Shrunk the Audience, and it was crazy because it's like you, the movie would play and it was like 3D, and then it's like you would feel like you were shrunk by their little shrink ray from that movie, Honey, yeah. I Shrunk the Yeah, how do you feel like you're shrunk? Because like, it, there's like little special <laughs> effects, and it's like, whomp, and then it's like, they're huge on the screen, uh, and like, obviously. You're tiny. We're suppose. tiny, but there's a scene where there's a bunch of mice, and there's things on the seats. That makes it like mice are running. Yeah. It's like 40. Yeah. 40 movie. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And then um, I was, I heard about fucking, there was another one called Alien Invasion. Mm-hmm. And I never did that one, but they said it was too scary and too traumatic, so that's why they took that one away. The kids were crying. Yeah. And it was, like, I saw little clips of it, and I'm like, the fuck? It was like basically like Alien. Yeah, it was like Alien. Yeah, like, the movie like, alien. like you watch people die and like the aliens bust oh out God. of a glass oh, tank and Disney they go in the audience. And I'm like, what the fuck? They're all pulling children and <laughs> yeah. shit. Like, Jesus. Oh, did you hear that? Funny. Um, uh, Splash Mountain is closing. Yeah, today was is the last day you can go on it. That is so crazy that I brought that up. Mm-hmm. I didn't, honestly I didn't know that either. Yeah, and then it's closed until they. Remake it, and so, it's gonna be like Tiana's Bayou. Like a, right, yeah, Bayou. Yeah. I never went on Splash Mountain, so I'm kind of sad. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. You've never I experienced that? Okay, I I'm I actually sad for you. Yeah, I'm actually kind of bummed out about it too. I'm actually bummed. My child is actually there today, Disneyland. I was gonna ask, was she there today? She's yeah, she's there at Disneyland today and tomorrow. Yeah. Shout out to Pooh Bear holding down the D the D Town Fort for us. Yeah, hold it down um, for us, Kumar. Hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I'll catch Kumarion. This is for you, Kumarion. Now she's going to be her. so proud when she sees this clip. <laughs> I told her, too. I said, you better call me when you get to the gift stores because I want to see if they have any new Haunted Mansion merch. Mm. Yeah. Because I gave her my old Haunted Mansion purse. The one that she was bugging you for? Begging and begging oh and begging. God. And it was like still in mint fucking condition. And I was like, okay. I didn't know you gave it to her. <laughs> she got, I gave it, it to her two days ago because she got a 4.0. Mm. And she's had consistent 4.0. So I was like. Like fine. Fine, I'll do it. But also because I already knew that they're coming out with the new Haunted Mansion. <laughs> so you're like, well, so I knew there would be a new merch new drop. One. And I was like. Come on, Kumar. There is definitely going to be a lot of new merch because oh, yeah. the movie's coming out. I didn't yeah. think about that. The Ariel 
has new merch. Um, what, Haunted Mansion new merch. And also, bro, we have to see the, um, the fucking Element movie. Element movie. Yeah, Element Pixar. Oh, the, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be so. It gave me like um, soul. Inside Out vibes. Inside Out and Soul. So Inside Out, Soul, and the uh, Elements movie, and I don't know if it's called the Elements movie. All three of these movies, like, they're metaphysical. They're the fucking truth. They'll teach you about like energy. I still have yet to see Soul, so. Yeah, they go deep. Um, definitely give me Age of Aquarius vibes. Those three films. Mm-hmm. But I cannot wait to see the new one. Love that. Yeah. This has just been all about Disney. This has been, been like a, like a hangout. Like, <laughs> we... But you know, it's because like... We're just hanging out with you guys. Yeah. Like, we guys hope that like you love it and come to Disneyland with us. Yeah. We'll make we'll plan a date. Yeah. Yeah. Where you can watch us. You don't you come with watch us. watch us. <laughs> Go away. Go away. <laughs> Go away, but you guys can watch us vlog. Yeah. But it definitely is a catch up hangout because it we haven't seen up. each other since the last time we were. So you guys are just watching too. this hang. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's how it is usually though. So, but that's the vibe. That is the vibe. Six. What are we? Forty six. Okay, that's a cool, cute minute. Yeah. And we still have yet to do the tarot card reading. I was like, do you want to get into some tarot? Yeah, we got to get into it. Let's get into we it. We got to get into it, but so much it's been a while. Yeah. I so. do have to ask one last question. Okay. What what is your opinion? What do you think they're gonna do with um, redheaded Caucasian Ariel and like the new Ariel? Like, do you think like they're gonna have the two princesses at the park? Because mm. what I think they mm. should do is retire old little white girl Ariel. Mm-hmm. She she had a good run. We love her. Right. We know about her. We're always gonna appreciate her. But they need to bring the new Ariel on board for the parade. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're gonna have to. They need to. Or if not, at least have. We both love of them. Jody Benson's Ariel. We do, mm-hmm. but like do. a new dawn, a new day. Yeah, it's Hallie's Cause time. Like, it is because Hallie, she carried the role so good. I haven't even fucking seen the film, <laughs> but I know <laughs> she. But I know my girl did. I know my girl did, and it was giving me like Yamaya, yeah, like like African Orisha like vibes, like spiritual, like that's. Uh, they're like. A mermaid would have now color, but that's a fucking lie. I feel like mermaids would be of color mm. and brown, cause like the Caribbean and yeah. like yeah, Mexican and African like descent and like the islands, Jamaica, yeah, for sure. the USBI, Hawaii. Like I feel like one like, of the most popular places to spot mermaids is in Haiti. Thank you. I feel like that's. Yeah, so why, that made why, more sense. Yeah, it, than it really Jody does. Benson's Little Mermaid. I feel like that was just like those are the olden times. The old fucking regime. The old fucking yeah, because there wasn't even any princesses of color back then either. Yeah, so we're done with that, and so, we want to see the new mermaid at the right. parade. What about the Little Mermaid ride? Keep it the same. Keep it OG. No, honestly. You want to change it too? Change that out shit with her. out. Red eyes, lazy eyes, mermaid crap. <laughs> Bye, bitch. <laughs> Don't think I know it's your little lazy eyes. Two minute wait, and you even fucking dipped on that bitch. He said, I even said goodbye, little raggedy ass. I'm fucking hungry. I'm gonna go eat. I did say that. <laughs> I did. I forgot about that. And look, my nails are inspired. Oh, so cute. This I said. Right. This is the new mermaid, not the old little mermaid. This is the new little the Miss new, mermaid. New. This is the new new bitch. <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's how I feel about it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because I feel like she's more than just like aerial princess, she's like goddess of the sea, like queen. Queen shit. Yeah. For sure. Look up that story, you guys. Yeah, my yeah, and you guys will understand. But that's why it makes sense to me to switch that. Mm-hmm. Um. Loves it. Yeah. Loves it. My hair's probably all fucking crazy. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> like I just gave a fucking college like, lecture. Like I'm like that passionate. one fucking <laughs> that one fucking um professor at BC that looks a hot fucking mess all the time. Always smells like cigarettes. Never went to BC. Well, people that went to BC would know what I was talking about. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So that's what we think needs to happen, Disney. Get to it. 
get to it, do it, or else we're going to come down with our little paint cans and we're going to remodel the bitch ourselves. <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. It is. Okay, so let's get into, um, I had other things I needed to say. What else? <laughs> I had a lot to get off my chest. Um, I just want to say that King Triton was really putting it down. Because all his daughters were of different fucking ethnicities. I still haven't seen the movie, so we're not going to talk about it. Well, that's for the fucking that. trailer. I haven't really watched the trailer. We well, got a little, little Asian sister. You really? got a little Mexican sister. A little Cuban. I don't know. But they're different races. And I was like, damn, King Triton. Oh, damn. Okay. He's traveling. He's hoping the Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> he was chilling. Okay, so... Yeah, this is what I think. Uh, okay, I think Disney, you real, week, you real gonna, funny for that one. We're going to follow up with uh, Kaisa on for that Little one. Mermaid next week. He's just giving I'm going to watch the movie. He's giving me Zeus vibes. Just putting that thing down. I was going to say he everybody. was giving like, Zeus vibes for sure. And the guy who plays him, the love interest from Eat, Pray, Love. Eat, Pray, Love. I haven't seen Eat, Pray, oh Love. Oh my god. That movie explains my life. Mm. You guys got to watch Eat, Pray, Love. I always got that confused with P.S. I Love You by Love No. I love okay, P.S. I, I Love You. you. Amazing. I love Jar Butler. Oof, yes. But you gotta watch fucking Eat, Pray, Love. What's with Hilary Swank? Eat, Pray, Love? Yeah. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Yeah. And Hilary Swank is in that one. Is it in there? Anyway. P.S. I Love You is Hilary Swank. It is, right? Okay, see? I'm see? He already again. fucking knew. Don't ever try to come for him. Don't ever try to fucking correct him. Because he knew his shit. Don't you ever. Don't you fucking ever. Anyways. I mean, <laughs> Anyways, anyways. Thanks, Shadi Anyways. <laughs> <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so also, Jake probably is not going to talk about this, but I'll talk about it on his behalf. He had a crazy, wild Mr. Toad's ride at Lightning in a Bottle <laughs> this past weekend. He had his own form of Kern County Disneyland. He did. And I wanted to go. It was so not go, but... the happiest place on earth. No. But it was, but it wasn't, but it was not. And the First mental health was. crises is definitely still crises. So seek help. And I, I, I would hope that they would have suicide hotlines, not numbers, but stations at festivals like that with actual psychologists and counselors on deck. To help That's what they these. do at Coachella. Well, they need that mm-hmm. at every fucking single festival. Because you don't even have to be on a substance to have anxiety or to feel a certain way at those things. Because, like, those yeah. frequencies of vibes of people, sometimes it just brings that out of you. And you need to talk Definitely. to somebody. Mm-hmm. How horrible would that be to not be able to speak yeah. to someone when you're feeling like that? Yeah, for sure. So, that's definitely needed. Coachella, Coachella does that? Yeah, they do that. That's mm-hmm. amazing. Every festival needs that. Mm-hmm. So, me and Jacob are just the mayors of the whole fucking world. So, so just we're, listen to like, where's our fucking a gavel? Like, I know. So, that needs to happen. We're gonna get gavels for this. Um, okay, so this is for what what you guys need to know in Gemini season. Okay. Or what well, you guys need to know right now. Right now. Yeah, what's going on right now? There's a lot. I heard June 1st is the time to be Delulu. Oh. <laughs> I heard, yeah, no. no it, it's so weird because she I literally just saw myself inherited a like, oh, the Delulu name. I just and, literally got, like, the crown, like. You're gonna thrive, girl. Oh my god. And, and I'm trying to get on your Delulu train, so. Okay, but there was this TikTok that I, said, that I saw and it said, he's coming back, Put your phone down right now and go get ready. And then someone um, duetted it. And they're like, girl, he's not talking about you with your Delulu ass. She's not talking about you. Go to bed. <laughs> take your melatonin. Go the fuck to sleep. This yeah. is not for you. Yeah, let's give you Delulu. But um, Glenda, Glenda the Good Witch, when mm-hmm. you said that, I just pictured me with like my little, like it, the crown from fucking Wicked coming down and like yeah. pulling on my head. And I'm like, oh. It's Delulu time! Ba da 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 I love you, baby! And if it's quite alright, I need you, baby! Oh my god! I think this is the most Delulu episode yet! Trust in me when. Oh my god! Yeah, period, okay. 
card that comes out with Major Arcana Justice, and it's kind of crazy because the moon is in Libra right now. Yes, This exactly. card is big Libra, big balance vibes, big karmic justice, big things going in your favor, big right vibes. A good vibe. You don't ever want to see this bitch reversed. Okay. Perfect for the Libra moon. So we're just asking what's going on right now. Yeah, for the collective. Why is, so June 1st, is it something to do with Venus? I believe Leo? so. Mm -hmm. I, I think I did hear that. That things, okay, because I was, remember how they said, and I, even I said this, Taurus and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and even just fixed signs, but mainly Taurus and Scorpio, after May 17th or May 16th, like, shit was going to be good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, that was, that was, that was... That was a little loud, because what I didn't take into accountability was the fact that the fucking shadow period barely ended today, so... Now is the Now is the fucking time. Now is the fucking time. And you know what's crazy? And that crazy? must be why they said June 1st, too. Is, and it's gonna go great in um, our house of resources mm -hmm. and love. So a lot of partnerships, a lot of love, a lot of Two of Cups energy going forward, um, a lot of romance stuff. And then the romance will be tied to your financial and your um, money career sector. So those will really go hand in hand the rest of the year. And manifestations that are in your highest favor will be <clears throat> ultimately pushed through. So take advantage of this time, don't go backwards, go fucking forwards. Ew. Is that all I wanted to tell us? I was like, yes. <laughs> like, and. and cut, girl. You're doing too much. Okay, I don't care a fuck. We'll take this. Because I was feeling. What's that? Yeah, take the Lulu. Really... And I'm going to take this. No, it really did come out. No, really, you saw yeah. Leo. That's giving. You need to just be to Lulu. You need to be delusional about your self love and happiness. Like, who And when we say that, it's fucking... like. Who cares? Exactly. Who people Who think cares? of you? Like, just you, let it all go. If you wake up one morning and your hair's not fucking done and whatever, and you look in the mirror and be like, I'm, I'm the shit. baddest fucking bitch. Exactly. Like, period. All these motherfuckers out there lining up to fucking see me. Everybody wants me. Everybody wants my number. All these opportunities are coming to me. I'm a millionaire. I'm a billionaire. Be delusional. Mm -hmm. Could like. And it'll work in your favor. What is the harm in being delusional when it comes to your self love? Mm -hmm. And to the things you really want in life. When it comes to your mental health, be fucking delusional. I really feel like no fucking other cards like want to really come out. Like it's just such a strong like fucking message mm. of what it really is. This one I did, okay, so this is a little, okay. <laughs> this is where it gets a little challenging. Okay. Okay, 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 Oh, bro, I was shuffling with two pool of the deck. That's okay. Yeah, you're gonna be pulling out the oracles. Yeah. So I got the five of cups, which is definitely the opposite of these two cards. <clears throat> It's just crazy because I still read reversal from what still came out upright. Um, not that strong of a card. Okay. Okay. Let me just, let me just, going down. And I had seen this card as I'm shuffling. Usually it's kind of crazy. These cards are magical because you'll see the card and you're like, oh, I'm shuffling. I see you. I see you. And then that'll be the one that comes out. Mm -hmm. Which I think is really wild that it fucking does that. They're big ass cards. Okay, 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 okay. Sacral! The most Delulu chakra of them all. Because that'll have you thinking with your dick and your pussy. And not thinking with your head. Sacred. 
Okay. High heart chakra. Ooh, six. It's a good card for six, because if you guys have seen our Instagram, you know, like... That's, like, literally the vibe. This is the vibe. This is the vibe, period. Ecstatic bliss. Ecstatic bliss. Ecstatic bliss. Unique gifts. Still, the message that's coming through is, like, don't... And I'm not really too sure what this saying means. Well, I kind of know what it means. Uh, the whole, do not rest on your laurels. Even though things are going fucking excellent, amazing, bonita, beautiful for you, bonita. you might in this season that's coming or in these weeks to come get lazy because you're like, oh, shit's going so good. Like, I can like rest. I can chill. I can chill out. I can like be super social and like even though I have this deadline and that deadline, like it's okay, money's coming in. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. Don't do that. It's basically saying like, yes, enjoy the fruits of your labor and your blessings, mm -hmm. but don't get lazy. Still pay attention to the fine tune details of your partnership, of your relationship, of your fucking projects you're working on basically just in your life in general like don't get ahead of yourself i feel like a big message right here is things are gonna go and are go about to go things are going shitty for you right now just know like they're turning the page but it, for what i see is things are going really great for you right now don't blow it Still getting a be big aware. yeah be aware don't blow it by getting a big ego mm. like in terms of health in terms of love like don't be like, oh, well, you know what? I did so good. I'm at my weight loss goal. Like, it's fine. Like, I could fuck off and I could, like, whatever, whatever. Do what I want. Yeah. You can't eat what you want. You can't do that. Like, still keep working hard because, like, you know. The, it's not over. The great times, the good times, yes, you're still going to be reaping good karmic benefits and rewards. But, like, great, beautiful times. Like, this life is forever constant. Everything's changing. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but good, great, beautiful blessing times, like right now, they don't last forever. So to mm -hmm. keep your stability and that longevity going, you still have to enjoy what's happening right now, but keep working towards what it, whatever it is you're working on. Do not get lazy. Do not get distracted. And I do see that some of you have entered into really good partnership pairings right now with, like I just said, the whole Scorpio Taurus thing with someone you're talking to. Don't get so like overindulged and so over obsessed with one another that you guys both forget like, like what you're really working, what you're working on. Like, mm -hmm. like the types of relationships that are so all consuming. It's like, oh my God, I love him so much. And you guys are just like love bombing one another. But then it's like, your it's phone's really going off, other, your boss, yeah. your deadlines. People are like, hey, like, where are you at? Like, this was supposed to be due yesterday. Or, hey, like, what's going on? Because, um, yeah. You can a lot be of people get caught up in, like, those types Overconsumption of, yeah. with love. Like, everything can be an imbalance in your life. And just because it's healthy for you, you need that, still that healthy balance of believer skills, stupid fucking fly. Yeah, balance it before you look around and you're like, what the yeah. fuck? What happened? Where like, am I? What What's happened? going on? I haven't fucking, <laughs> for example, haven't texted Jacob in like a oh, week to check on him. Yeah. Like, like, don't be that person that gets into that partnership or gets their blessing and, and then drops. forgets where they came yeah. from. And then forgets all the people that were riding for them and that were there were for them when they were fucking low as fuck. Because just know that mm -hmm. shit is always waiting around the corner for you. Yes. Because everything is always a test. So. Thing about karma. It's gonna find you. It's just gonna get you. It's gonna get you. So. Mm -hmm. So watch your mouth. <laughs> watch your fucking mouth. Um. And also, keep firm with your boundaries, especially in terms of, like, business and dealings. If someone's constantly pushing your boundaries and pushing your boundaries and you're like, hey, like, I've already told you this and this and this, not comfortable with this, just know that with every breach of a boundary, that is a signal and a sign from the universe that that person is not in your vibration, that opportunity is not meant for you. Even if it looks really good and it's great and you think it's gonna get you to the next level that's actually the universe saying like no it's not for you because mm -hmm. you shouldn't have to bend and break your own boundaries down 
to pacify someone else. It doesn't matter um, <clears throat> how established and how reputable this business offer person um, interest might be. If they're doing that, it's not for you. So that's a warning as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so that's really the clear map for you. Unique gifts. Let's show unique lit your unique unique, unique. Yes. <laughs> shine sacral chakra core of creation yeah now is definitely the time to create just keep going remember where you came from mm -hmm. keep your ego in check also just know anybody you was fucking with last year in terms of business if they keep coming back around but they're not respecting your boundaries know that that's old shit you're moving on to new stuff. Yeah, that's you, can't, what I got. you can't get new stuff if you're holding on to old stuff or if you're trying to bend <laughs> over backwards for someone that ain't even in on your level anymore. And when that happens, that's just the universe testing you to see if you're ready for the Because next just know you should never have to explain why you are saying no to something more than once. No is the full sentence. Once. You might have to explain one time, but you should never have to explain yourself more than fucking once. Yes. Like I said, more than once. If you have to yeah. say you should never even have to tell somebody why you're saying no a second time. Yeah. And if you are, that is a very big red flag. Cut them off. Cut them off. Cut off. So, yeah. That's that. Congrats, you guys. Congratulations. You're, you're going through it. You're following through. Yeah. So just keep pushing. Yeah, and I do say a lot for a lot of people, I see your family is very proud of you, though they may not show it. They're watching you from the sidelines, and they're like, whoa, he or she, they, them, they're really doing the fucking damn thing. Mm -hmm. And you're inspiring the people that are closest to you that you don't even think that you are inspiring with what you are doing. Because that's what you're meant to do, inspire. Yeah. I love that. Um... As for how you might feel like interpersonally right now, a lot of change still taking place. You're still becoming that new fucking person. So there will be days where you miss your old person mm -hmm. who you used to be, but just know it's okay to let that version of yourself go and fade away and die. Most of the change and the lightning bolt fucking slashes of insight are going to be internal. You're not, they're not going to be external with the tower in the reverse. Yeah. So... Keep on evolving, baby. Keep on keeping on. That's that. And that is that. Well, thanks for tuning in, you guys. We Sending hope you enjoyed you this episode. Oh, Sending shout out for me. Love, good <laughs> energy. And we'll catch you next week. Catch you next week. Bye. Through the six.